Hello and welcome to the first of our videos in the Algebra video series. In this video we're going to have a brief look at the algebra terms that we use in this topic. What is a term in, uh, in regards to the algebra topic? Let's have a look. A term in algebra, that's, we, we call it any combination of numbers and or letters a term in algebra. Here we have three terms listed, 3m, a normal everyday plus 2, and what we'd call a negative term, negative 4n. So three chunks there, and they're each called terms. Now, there can be a wide variety. There are four terms here. They're all algebra terms. We have 3y squared, we have a normal 7, 14c, and another negative term, minus 4j. Now there's different parts to an algebra term. The term 3y has different names for the different parts here, so let's have a look. The 3 out the front, the number out the front, is called the coefficient in the term 3y. Sometimes we, we call that number the coefficient of y. So in this case we would say the 3 is the coefficient of y. And the letter in an algebra term is called a variable or another name for it is the pronumeral. It's called a variable because the value of the y in 3y varies. Sometimes the, it could have a value of 2 or 10, depending on the question. So we call it a variable. There's another special term uh, we use in algebra, and that is like terms. Let's have a look what a like term is. Like terms in algebra have to have the same letter and power. So let's have a look. We've got eight terms here all together. Now we're looking for pairs of terms here that have the same letter and power. So we have a look at and we see that we have 5m and 2m. They have the same letter and power. So we would say that 5m and 2m are like terms. Same with 6c and c. They're both uh, having the same letter and power. I know they've got different numbers out the front, but still. Uh, we also have uh, normal numbers, minus 3 and 17 are both numbers on the number line. Um, we'd call them like terms in a way. And we have both h squared uh, terms here, 5h squared and 3h squared. They would be classed as like terms. So we'll have a, a good look in following videos about the importance of like terms and how we use them. And that's the end of the first video. Thanks for watching. Uh, tune in for more information about algebra in the rest of the algebra video series.